So you see me here talking into a microphone, and yes, my boards don't match my speech because we recorded with this garbage camera I have and used a good mic, but even with a good mic, it didn't work. So what I'm telling you here is we're sitting outside of Sam's Club. It's about 8.15 in the morning on a Friday. I have a business class membership, so I have access to the store that early. And I'm going to show you why Sam's Club should be ranked higher among your personal places you like to do your shopping on the carnivore diet. And there's a reason for that. Yes, I love Costco as much as anybody else, but Costco is, while they have a lot of really awesome cuts of meat you can't get other places, Sam's Club is something very different that every carnivore should be aware of. And that is, even on a bad day like actually today, an abundance of marked down meat early in the morning. The business class membership is about 100 bucks a year, but that's about $8 and change every month. And you're going to see that that will more than pay for itself with this simple one trip. So pardon the, the, the this terrible camera with uh, how awkward it must be watching this. But I have a new camera by the time you're seeing this video. It won't be. Uh, this is the last video made with this camera, I promise you. Anyway, here we are at Sam's Club. So let's dive into this. So what you're seeing here are a bunch of still shots because Sam's Club notoriously does not like you coming in to film inside their store. But what you're seeing there are the classic ribeye steak. And they had a lot of these on Markdown. These were USDA choice ribeyes. Three pack for $30. I mean, you really can't beat that, right? You've got here New York strip steaks. 12 bucks for a two pack. Those were thick cut, by the way. Those were... You know, 12 bucks probably will do some of you who eat two steaks a meal quite well. And then next we had stew meat. You could always use a little stew meat in your freezer. Again, very affordable. Look at the number of packs they had. Absolutely ridiculous. And this was at 8 o'clock in the morning, folks, for the business class members. There you had shoulder steaks, which are not, which are basically chuck roast by a different name, cut a very specific way for the lean. But again, it's good meat, especially if you put it in a pellet grill. Again, close up on that shoulder steak. So yeah, very lean, but very, very good. And that might actually be a rump roast now that I think about it. But look at that, $9 for a huge rump roast. And then here we had chuck roasts. Um, I grabbed one pack of those for my mother. One pack was $28 for two of those giant chuck roasts. If you, if you throw them in a pellet grill the way I do and make them like a brisket, which they're a great thing to do with them, $28 for two of them is a great deal. The, this was my top find here, the beef top loin steak. It's sort of like a sirloin, very lean. I tend to eat lean meats as part of my uh, fat burning protocol. Balance it out with uh, fat with fattier cuts the other meal I eat a day. I grabbed two of those packs, $25.13 for a pack. I ended up getting two of them, and I have enough lean meat there to meet my needs for two weeks based off of that, or pretty close to two weeks, given the way I tend to eat. I highly recommend it. These were delicious. And then here we had some of uh, cheaper steaks that were $9.28 a pound. They were pretty good. The top round steak, it's a good deal if you like round steaks. Not my favorite cut, but uh, you're getting a lot of beef there for $9. They had a lot of those packs as well. I cannot stress this enough. And this was a bad day at Sam's Club. I've actually seen more on other days. There's another look at the round steak. Now here we have uh, some classic strip steaks. Again, New York strips are pretty good, even with the bone on them. But I'm about to show you my favorite thing here, which was one of my favorites here, which was the T-bone. They had two packs of these T-bones for super cheap. More of the uh, of the roasts there. But I'm got, we're going to bring it back here now to steaks, USDA prime steaks, ribeye steaks next to beef tenderloin. The prices on those were ridiculously low. The average price here is about 25% off. 18 bucks for two USDA prime ribeye steaks, $20 for about two or three pounds of the beef tenderloin. It's a steal. It's a, it's a ridiculous steal. Again, Sam's Club deserves more credit as, among carnivores for as a legitimate place for us to do our shopping for our meat. But here was something I saw people talking about on social media. Ground Wagyu for $14 a pound. That is ridiculous if you like Wagyu. I'm not a huge fan of ground Wagyu. I'd rather get the steak if I'm going to eat it. But here we have pork chops. Once in a while, pork chops are fine. $12 and $14 for giant packs of pork. But my favorite find, 
lamb chops. Nine dollars at nine bucks. I grabbed two of these. I packed them away, and I can get three meals out of those two. Wonderful. And I thought because you know people like to look at ribeyes. Here's a little context for the ribeyes. How many of these choice ribeyes packs they had? Absolutely phenomenal deal. And if I needed them, I would have picked up packs. But I have a freezer full of meat. So I wasn't at Sam's Club to really hit the deals, but I did pick a few things up. I got a couple packs of these beef top loin steaks. Again, very extremely lean, but remember a basic principle. Again, garbage camera. Got a new camera. By the time you're seeing this, it's already here. Three times the cost, about a $500 camera. But the um, very lean, but remember one of the easiest principles of a car of carnivore is it's easy to add fat to something. Way easier to add than take it away. So you can easily add fat to this by just adding some butter or ghee or tallow and... I can. I showed you how to make tallow on Monday. Make your own. Don't buy any. I also grabbed for myself a couple of these um, lamb chops, marked down lamb chops, because lamb is underrated on carnivore. It's a ruminant animal, highly nutritious. Get some lamb. Get good quality lamb. I also grabbed a pack for my mother of the um, chuck roasts. Uh, I was there mostly for personal shopping, but I could not resist t showing you what we had there today. I hope this helped you. So like I said, Sam's Club is severely underrated in the carnivore community. I really think people should give Sam's Club a shot. The best way to get those deals is, of course, as I said, to have a business class membership, which is about 100 bucks a year, but with an average markdown rate of 25% off the normal already low price, I have to ask, do you think you'll save about $8 a month, which is what it takes to pay for that business class membership? Let me know if you think you'd save eight bucks a month with that if you could afford it. I understand if you can't. And this is not really an endorsement of Walmart, who owns Sam's Club. This is just another option. Carnivore is not an expensive diet. I'm going to show to make a video soon about how it's not an expensive diet to really like lay it out for you how it is not nearly as expensive as people think, as long as you're doing it strict. That's the key. But let me know what you thought about this in the comments, please. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help. And Thank you for your patience with the kind of garbage camera. I That camera was probably about $160 retail and feels like a wasted $160. Although I'll get used for it around the house just for normal things. But I now did spend some good money on a much better camera. So you'll get some higher quality things in the near future, especially since I have, uh, because people have requested that I show you how to make a brisket carnivore style, which will be a little different in a pellet grill than you see on most typical barbecue channels. I'm going to do that once I have that camera, which I have by when I'm recording this. I don't have it yet, but by the time you see this video, it should be, you know, already in my possession. So hopefully I'll have that uh, barbecue video up for you this weekend. But let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help these new channels grow. As always, go out and optimize your health and day today.